the use of Surmark by brushing it on. The use of Surmark tape and the spray-on application have been covered in other videos. I have my Surmark metal marking solution here in black. This needs to be mixed with denatured alcohol, which you can buy at your local home store, like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. This is mixed in a one-to-one -one ratio for the brush-on application. There is a different ratio for the spray-on. So I've already added in two ounces here. Um, it's probably hard to tell in the video, but I do have measurements on my cup here. So this side is ounces. I put in two ounces already of the denatured alcohol. This bottle of Surmark solution needs to be shaken and stirred and mixed around quite a bit. I did a lot of this before I started the video, so please understand that you need to shake this probably for a good two or three minutes as a lot of the properties settle down to the bottom when it has been sitting. So I've already shaken this a lot. And now I need to add in, I've already had two ounces of denatured alcohol. I need to add two ounces of Surmark for a total of four ounces. Obviously, those have not mixed together yet. I'm going to take the handle of this uh, swab that I use for color filling in a different application. It, um, I can no longer use it. It's dried. I just saved it so that I can use the stick of it as my stirrer. And even after you store the Surmark, you will need to make sure that you do stir it again before using. When it's all stirred together, it will be like a chalky type color, kind of beigey. I like using a container that is somewhat transparent because then I can look at it. Uh, you can't see me on the video, but I'm picking it up and looking at the bottom to make sure I don't see any clumps lying around. Make sure this is well stirred. And I've also opted to put it into a container that has a lid. Obviously, that way I can save it and not waste it. All right. I will take my brush. We want to apply this evenly across the surface of the substrate, covering the entire item or at least the entire area that is to be engraved. I will be engraving the entire thing or just about the entire thing. Nice and even strokes and that is it. All we need to do now is to make sure that it dries completely so that when you touch it with a finger nothing comes off on the finger. This will take about 15 to 20 minutes depending upon where you are located, the temperature and the humidity. If you have a fan blowing in the room it will dry quicker. I will come back when this has been engraved. With Surmark you always, 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 always use a power of 100. The speed will be adjusted depending upon what type of Surmark you are using and the wattage of your laser, but the power is always set at 100. Also with the metals we use with Surmark, it's always a clear uncoated metal. It cannot be a metal that has a clear coat on it. Clear uncoated metals work with Surmark. The coating gets in the way of the Surmark bonding with the metal and fusing itself. So we will let this dry and I will come back and show you the cleanup process. I'm now going to show you how to clean up an engraved piece. This had the Surmark brushed on and all we do is just take water and rinse it. It's really that simple. Once the water turns on, maybe a little bit harder to hear me, but I will try and speak louder. Turn the water on, rinse, it comes right off, it is that simple. All I need to do is dry it, the excess surmark has been washed off and what remains behind is a surmark that has bonded and fused with the metal. Thank you for watching.